edition of Bedroom Diaries. My name is Tobe. Some of you call me Tobe Da Diva. <laughs> you're, you're the one making faces now, Diana. Oh, really? I was unaware. Sorry, proceed. <laughs> uh, today, of course, we're not in a bedroom, but then I've got Diana with me. There's that other lady in the background. Ignore her. She's not supposed to be here. I think we'll look for something and like shade her. Yeah, I'm thinking like a blanket yeah. or a boat. Don't do that. This is PG-10. This is PG-13. This is not NC-17. I'm sure they all have a middle. You're right, you have many fingers. <laughs> Anyhow, today on Bedroom Diaries, we're going to talk about um, signs that you are not ready for marriage. You know, you know how a person gets to like a certain age or they start earning a certain type of income and they just think, I'm getting married. Like, so they didn't introduce me, me, but this is Diana. Hi. Oh, I said this is Diana. No, she did it, but it's okay. Diana. Proceed. Okay, my bad. This is Diana. She's a really horrible person. Um, I agree. She says the nastiest things. I agree. And she's one of the people who's making it possible for me to cope in Lagos. So hey, shout out Diana. Don't do that. Don't so we're talking about how you know if you are not ready for marriage. Five, even if you're the right age and the right. Well, first of all, what's the right age for like girls? For females, married? I think. You should start thinking about it from like 25 and 28. You should really put it into action. No, 25, but I have 21 year old. No, so I, I'm being realistic crazy. for myself personally. If I look back now when I was 21, I was not ever kind of sort of maybe ready for marriage. Tell me why are you laughing? It's true. <laughs> you, I wasn't ready for marriage. People that are married, my sister got married at 21. And I think that was just back then. That's what they did kind of thing. But you look back how you were at 21. Yeah. Mentally, you were not ready. True. Financially, you were not ready. Physically, I was still kind of finding myself and embracing my body. You had things were changing. Boobs, that's really I, didn't, I had boobs at 21. They were still coming in though. <laughs> Anywho, so I think 25 you should start thinking about it, and 28 is something that you know if you you're not like actively working towards it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a little worrisome. What about guys? What's the age for guys? For a man, ooh, I think you guys need to really be ready because men are fickle. Anything ah! goes. They are easily, they're easily swayed the opposite way. So I think they need to get a lot out of their system. They're the type of people that they experience is, is what works for them. Mm -hmm. They need to be experienced, have have done it or seen it. Yeah. All. Women, not necessarily. We're malleable. We're made to bend, you know. We, you, we, I like we love hard, you I, know. I, I like but it. men, you need to get out. My little brother said he was in love at 23. I was like, oh, that's really cute. I actually said that was cute. And I said, that's nice. I'm really sure what you're getting from her, aka <clears throat> Sejuali is really good but i think you need to get it out of your system enjoy a bit more he's now you know 25 now and he's like you know he's like top are you all right sorry that's my yoruba name <laughs> he was like you're all right i needed to kind of enjoy myself a bit more so is, is he with the same girl though? no he's not so see he's now with another girl that he's more mature with. my brother just moved into his own home Oh, Again, okay. it's how quickly it works for them. But at 20, 23, when he said he was in love, I laughed because it's funny. It's that, that, funny. That, that was poppy love cool. or whatever. I think that was miniature kitten love. <laughs> <laughs> All Anywho. right, so sometimes you could be the perfect age, you could be the um, perfect financial status, and you think you want to get married, but the truth is that you really are not, and you do not realize that you're not ready for marriage. Basically. So we're going to give you five signs to look out for that's going to help you know that you are not ready for marriage. First sign is that you are always gunning for a fight and you always feel like you need to be right. You need to win. I think that in marriage, people, you know, there has to be a lot of bending and agreeing to disagree. Compromise type of is thing. the, it's, you, Diana compromised the Akini, you, or whatever his last name is. It's true, no, on a serious, especially for men. For women, we're swayed by emotions and feelings and love, and we love so hard. So sometimes, no, no, so don't say that because I don't no, agree. No, I, I'm, yes, a, I'm a woman, and I, I no, I'm, don't get me wrong. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm crazy. I, I want yes. to win, <laughs> and, and I'm always right. Yes, but at the same time, you know, men, to be clearly, <laughs> <laughs> men are a little different in the sense that they're comp they they have this. They feel like they came in with this God-given right to be. Right, to be I'm in charge, man. yeah. Whereas yeah. a woman, she knows she kind of has to bend a little bit. She goes, this because she's choosing not to doesn't mean she doesn't know. Mm -hmm. But men are like, but well, I'm a man. Yeah. So what I say goes. That's what I'm saying. It, it falls more on them. The problem is that, oh, because they come with this, oh, 
I am demigod. I'm, I'm in charge, the head of the house. No, but I think I think it actually goes both ways for people. Like, of course, there, there are even women who are very headstrong, and there are men who are just, you know, we like to call them umarapa, those kind of men. You know, they're like serious pushovers and stuff. But if you're a person who hasn't gotten to the point in your life where you can say, hey, you know what, I'm a green, even though I don't agree with this, I'm going to let you do it just because I know it makes you happy. Exactly. You know, let's just let it go it's the mature, and move on. You know, exactly. Step to take. If you've not gone to that, and you have to get to that with your siblings and your friends and immediate people in I, your life. I agree 100% with that because you know if you think about it, how you are in friendship is how, is how you're you going are, to take into, yes, into in your, your marriage. Yeah, because true. at the end of the day, if you really want a solid marriage, in my personal opinion, marry yeah, your friend. Yeah. Because at some point, he's going to irritate you, he's going to smell, he's going to be bloody annoying, but you're always going to remember your friendship. Friendship, mm -hmm. I will love you today, I love you Monday, I won't love you on Friday. One thing, I'm going to have respect for you in the friendship that I have built with you over the past few years. True. So what you are like in friendship transfers into, into relationship. relationship. So if you're a selfish friend, you're a selfish boo. Yep. Okay. True that. If you're a stingy friend, you're a stingy boo. Okay. If you're a smack talking friend, you're a smack talking boo. Okay. All right, so moving on to the next thing. Um, if you do not know how to make basic meals or do your own laundry, you're not ready for marriage. I'm sure people, I'm sure people no. are beefing now already. So basically, <laughs> people are like, Ugh, no, do I have to cook? Am I the cook? Do I have made but on my But the thing head? is, this is actually something for guys and girls. Exactly. First of all, I think cooking is something that everyone should be able to do. I mean, even if you're a guy, at least be able to make a sandwich, be able to make noodles, you know, you basic rice. things, boil rice, make it's a bar, you know, basic eggs, things, be able egg. to do them. And then laundry, even if you don't want to wash by your hand. Know I, how to, you know, know how to set up a load, sorry honey. I've met, I've met someone who yeah, does no, not know how to know do the button to press it. Yeah. So we don't be shocked. I mean, so you, be shocked. You, you, can, you can use an iPhone, guy. but you cannot okay. use a laundry. What? I said I knew a guy that did not know how to send a letter and I mean, let me explain this. When I was in school, we asked him to mail our bills. Why did he put it in the envelope and put it in the mailbox? What did he forget? A stamp. He now said, oh, I didn't know you needed a stamp. He now said, actually, what's a stamp? Basic. That's what I'm talking about, basic. It's really not rocket science. We're not asking you to, to build, the, the, you know. <laughs> to build the, a rocket. The, okay. Or an airplane. So, I mean, but cooking cooking and doing laundry, because these are things, if you get married, whether you like it or not, no matter how independent you guys are, you need if that, to. Yeah, even if you have house help or a cook or something, once in a while, you'd want to make something. And then when you start having children, Most these definitely. things will come up. So one of you in the marriage, or rather both of you in the marriage, need to be able to provide for these things, you know. So guys, girls, if you can't cook, learn. If you can't yes. do laundry, learn. And guys, sidebar, she's not a house help. You yeah. should cook, cook together, even if you have a house. Like, it's not a thing of, it's her job, because it really isn't. It's nobody's job. Like, you know, it's a basic human thing. You need to cook the food exactly. you eat, unless you're a cannibal. Clifford, did you ever hear of Clifford OG? That guy no. that used to stay under the bridge. Was it when you come bridge? I can't remind him of the bridge. He's yes. under the bridge, and he used to eat human beings. I'm not involved. He'll catch you, and he'll I'm eat you. He was a cannibal. I said, I'm not involved. It was a big story. I'm not <laughs> All right, the third sign is when you tend to not make plans for your future you hmm. don't say you just like you don't You're living day to day yeah. and in the worst sense of it say when you plan too much you're not living currently what's happening in your life yeah. and i completely understand that mm -hmm. but there's planning too much and there's having no plans at all those and are two separate and things wrong. and if you're not ready for i know some people I, i'm not saying you need to have designed your house in your head but understand you know okay if i have this i'm going to compromise with this this you know exactly. you need to have, a have, have kind goals of basic and have plans for yourself now because would you marry a man that had no plans true no now, now for the money one i for, I have to rephrase that. I'm sorry. I don't think any person should marry any person who does not have some sort of financial no, backing. I'm sorry, because I don't think men they, want to they marry become women. a ball and chain. Yeah, because they're now your 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 li 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 liability. Liability. It's is not. It's not cool. And that. then imagine if you get married to a person who has loans to pay off. And then because so you know you their loans become it, your loans. You know? Just so you know. Bloody hell, brotherly, please don't even try His to illness is your illness. You? Marriage is real. I think every, if, even, if, even for your wedding, okay, you want to have a wedding for, what, 50 people? That wedding is going to cost money. At least have enough money to pay yeah. for half of your wedding. And so you can do that. You're not ready to get married. I'm sorry. Even if you're married to a rich man or a rich man who will foot the bills, but have your own. Just, I mean, do something for yourself, you know? And you need to be prepared. Prepared. Not to say to talk about divorce, but sidebar. I like sidebar. If you haven't noticed, <laughs> if if the wedding goes, if the marriage goes belly up, 
and you've been so reliant on him, just so you know, you're, you are also belly up. You're left broke, destitute, poor by yourself. Unless, of course, you sign a print. Well, if you if sign a print, you're coming in with zero. Yeah. zero. Unless, of course, you did not sign a print up and you happen to then have a child, have, uh, then you know, you'd have what's that thing called? Um, right. Alimony. So why are you giving people things to do? They I don't believe. Thing, is, thing is, I don't believe in divorce anyway. I don't. Neither I don't do intend I, but to you have need to be divorce. prepared for anything because at the end of the day, nothing is foolproof. So. Yeah, sure. All right. Well, next sign is that you still run to your father or your mother or both of them to make major decisions in your life. <laughs> Right. things like where to live who to marry what car to buy Forget i mean that. I, oh i just arrived at i'm leaving now i just bought okay i'm going to return this i don't understand is it that you don't know girl mind, wants to marry to a man's boy no man wants to marry a daddy's girl no, like you. everyone wants to be with an individual so they know that when you're marrying you're marrying an individual if Basically. you've not gone to that point where you can think for yourself it's and make right. plans for yourself stop it you're not ready to marry stop it don't even think about it. Don't even date. What the hell? Be no, because that's actually very hope. irritating to date. Yes, you would use somebody false hope. That would be, forget false hope. It's annoying. Like, like some time. Oh, if you're still sneaking out the house, <laughs> I understand if you live with your parents. If you are sneaking out the house to meet your man or your bae, you're not ready for stop. marriage. Oops. Yeah, stop it. So, you're sneaking you know, out the house. You're making up stories to say, ah, oh, this happened here. We're stranded. I'm or like, are you kidding me? Or Jones you get the person into your house. Like maybe your girlfriend sleeps over and you sneak them out. You sneak them out. Like even if you're a girl and they're sneaking you out, how do you feel? I'm sorry. First and foremost, what's wrong with you? You know when they used to be like, oh. Oh, he, oh, but he, he still lives at home. That's fine. But if he starts to sneak no, no, in, please, I'm sorry. That's fine. Depending, depending on the circumstances, on when it I can't say, just be okay, that he loses. I mean, come on. on. That's fine. If, if he's maybe saving something up happens. and he's about yes. to put that money on land, or if he's about it's to different. pay for something, or he's he's got his money for his place. He just needs a few more months to. Of course, I'm, I'm all different. about that life. But if you are thirty and you are a man, hear me. This is you who I'm talking to. <laughs> you are tati, oti tati, oti dagba, oti gobio robo. And you're still in your parents' house, and you're chilling like a villain. You're waiting for mama to make you exit. And, and then you're Sunday. dating someone and, you and bringing her home. You're bringing up. You're sneaking around and sneaking her out. You are a what? You're a chump. <laughs> and you should stop it. And if you are his girl, hear me. See, I'm talking to you. If you are now his babe, you are slow. <laughs> you need Jesus, you? baby. You're slow. <laughs> no, so really. he's sneaking you in, and you're really, sneaking, really. sneaking you out. Like actually, jokes apart. Get it together. You really need to get it together. Get it together. And even when, I mean, of course, Nigerian parents always do this thing where they don't want their daughters to move out until they get married. But then if you're at that age where you can get married, the boy should be able to come to the house, sit down, have a conversation with you and your parents. Like, I have be a cool. You don't have to stick of, around. I have a theory on that, though, the whole don't move out your parents' house until you're married situation. You're now not prepared for the real world because yeah. you haven't lived by yourself. You mm -hmm. haven't taken care of yourself. Mm -hmm. You went from your parents' house to your husband's house. I really don't advise that personally because you need to experience things on your own. You need to kind of be in a few sticky situations that you have to figure out by yourself to be yeah. ready because marriage is sticky. Plus, you know these little things like paying bills? Yes. I, I didn't know where Nepal office was for a long time Babe, in my life until I'm, I moved out on my own and I had to, you know, go and pay my bills myself. I mean, those are things that you need to do because if you don't, when you move to your husband's house, you'll be totally dependent on your husband or your wife or whoever it is that's living on their own before. You just, you just need to do if it. If your biggest worry... <laughs> If your biggest worry is about not buying a second microwave in your in your family's home because you know you go to move to your husband's house and you don't have a boyfriend, are you okay? You have no reason to be thinking about marriage, okay? baby. You cannot. All right. So the final one um, for knowing Ooh, that you're a good one. It's a good <laughs> that one. you're not ready for marriage is if don't vex you. Really, don't be mad. Don't I don't take this you. the wrong way. It's not personal. If the number one criteria on your list for a person to marry is Oh, he has to be a hottie. Oh, she has to be light skinned and she has to have her body. For days. You know, just be said Coca Cola bottle. Do you? Are you Coca Cola? Do you have a flat belly? <laughs> are you not rocking a small Michelin tire? <laughs> Sorry, sidebar. I like these sidebars. If you are a four and you're trying to aim for a six or a seven, you're a four. God will punish you. <laughs> if you're a four, you can have a five. You can have a you can have five and below. So if you're four, you can have you can have four and below, and you can get five. And if you happen to get five and a half, eh, God is on your side. But oh don't try God. yourself. You're not allowed to get four. Amy for a ten. That's just cheeky. 
No, but I think, I mean, of course, you, you want to marry a good-looking person because you want to have good-looking kids. You need yeah? to forget that. But that even. shouldn't you be need first. To be tra- like, if we're going to keep it legit, I'm going to be attracted to the person I'm going to marry. Mm-hmm. I want to look at you and, you know, somewhat jump your bones and just be, every day I see you, I'd be excited and you make me happy. Even if when you piss me off, you'd be like, this boy fine, shah. And then, you know. You know, but, but, but that shouldn't be that's, the top that's really thing basic. the criteria. That's because, really basic. Because I, th- I think there are lots of more important things, you know, Definitely. in life. Because if you marry a fine man, you'll live and face me, I face you. You, you he will become ugly. You will hate him. He will be ugly. One day you'll be the one to even pour something on his face and make sure he's very ugly. Then if he's now fine and he knows he's fine, so he's cheating on oh, you. Lord. Mm-mm. No words. No words. Nah. you hate so him. So you can't, that can't be the top of your list. Don't get me wrong. Recently someone asked me, oh, what's your spec? What's your, and I said, okay, well, six feet. I wasn't And that's the thing. I said six feet because I'm five four. The men in my family are six feet and above. And when I say six feet, I mean saying start from six three and above. So that's just what I would prefer. But I've met a guy who was five eleven. Who's five? Any less than that, I ain't messing with that. Five <laughs> eleven, <laughs> and was you know subpar cute. He was cute, but he wasn't the best. But he was intellectual. He was God fearing. He was a down home good guy. You know, had the had everything help everything else. I don't think what he looked like would be the biggest issue. And you yeah. know what? he become beautiful. She would become beautiful because True. they possessed everything else he wanted. So don't be so shallow when picking up a, a, a mate, a partner. Because yeah. at the end of Whether the day... Whether you're a guy or a girl, really. Yeah, most definitely. Oh, definitely. This is double. Women, y'all are crazy as hell. And men, <laughs> oh, no words. <laughs> so just, you have to be very careful. You're not ready if you're, you're, the one thing you're looking for, every time someone sets you up is, this guy better be fine. This yeah. Babe, this baby, she's not getting out. I don't even want to talk to her. It's not going to work. Like, it's not, it's not going to work. Because to yeah, be you're honest, just after, not, one thing that there, fades yeah. in relationships, in marriage, and I think is the beauty. beauty. It will I think go. it's the first thing that. It's well, the first to um, go. that that's arguable because some people actually say that the love fades. I don't know. I've not been married every month. Really people know. actually say the love fades, and then what what um, endures is respect, friendship, and, just and, the, for and each if other. your relationship is built on that foundation, it has more chance of surviving. Yeah. But if you're saying, "Me, my wife." Yeah, guy. that's oh. gonna go. Cause um, anything her, else, her I'm belly is going, her boobs are going to sag, her belly is going to swell, his muscles are going to get soft, and he's going to start growing a beard or something, and the hair is going to get he's, white. And not, if everybody you're is, lucky, not everybody should be in the beard gang. I'm letting yes. you know now. Not if, if you're now. unlucky, now has starts to have receding hairline. You know, just go bald, the, the things that weren't there before would come, and you have to Trust deal me. with it. You know, so if it's just the looks you're going for, you're and sometimes I think people need to ask themselves real questions. Am I ready for marriage? Like, forget that, about... That, that is forget, a real question. Be 20 your age. Be, forget your age. Mm. Are you really ready? Or is it that society is telling pressures. you... Is that your, all your friends are married, your clique is married, because married at the end of the but day... But let's be real, though. You're, it's actually very frustrating when all your friends are married and you're it not. Is it is to me. So can I tell you something, though? But one thing we all need to remember is that we have different journeys in life. I yeah. can't... I, if you're not ready, you're not ready. True. And then also, I... I don't vex. No one should scream at me about this. I am Nigerian to the core. How it's people. Marriage isn't for everyone. I, I, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mar- I, Ruby I Goldberg said it best. I absolutely agree. Marriage with, is not yeah, for everyone. I agree with that. If you don't get married, it's not that you have a, you have an. There's, there's nothing thing. wrong with there's you. There's nothing wrong with you. Mm-hmm. I feel like we we. Because wouldn't you be better off if you didn't marry and you had a blissful life than you married, had a divorce, you have a child that you're now sharing between you, Fridays you're here. And I just or like or you happen you. to have married like four, five times. Like, I don't understand how people marry they, no, because two, they, three, four times. Because in their mind, they've convinced themselves that, fair enough, this won't work out, but it must happen, it must happen. It's not, I think it's Whoopi, I'm not too sure. I think it's Whoopi Goldberg that's been married three or four times. And yeah. she, she's just like, it's not for everyone. It's it not, really isn't it's, it's for not. everyone. First of all, dear future husband, because I do want to get married. I don't know if I'm ready yet, oh, I but do. I do want to get married. Dear future husband, please understand that when we're entering that marriage, it is till life. death do us part. Oh, you know you still apply it to me. I'll use rule. <laughs> I'm not going to do it twice. How is the rule? <laughs> you and I. Huh? All right, well, guys. <laughs> don't worry. You understand if you're ready. You're with me. You're about people. You will get shit small. Good job. <laughs> All right, guys, it has been fun yes, uh, having Dana. Thank you so much, Dana. Thank you for having me. I will also have that person this girl right in here. an episode of Bedroom Diaries yes. very soon. So, hey, guys, uh, if you have your own thoughts, if you agree with the signs that we have, put it right down under. What are you doing, Dina? I don't know. Letting them know. In it. In it. Are you from in it? <laughs> are you from in it? Yeah, yeah, in it, babe. In it. In it. <laughs> 
Hello, if you agree with the signs, go right ahead, put up your thoughts under. If you don't agree, if you have your own signs, go right ahead, put up your thoughts under and let the conversation continue. My name is Tobita Diva. Thank you so much. We have been... Can I can I say whose house we're in? That's yeah. wrong. I probably shouldn't say I don't house. think they'll actually know how to get here. To be we're, honest. we're in Big Bro's house. We're in Big Brother's house. Big Brother's house. No, you're not. Shut up. Oh, yeah, that's not Oh, no, no, that's Big Brother. No, no. But, like, our Big Brother. Our Big Brother's our house. Big Brother. Yes. Our Big Brother Joe. Our big brother Joe. We adopted him. Yes. So well, he adopted us. I really don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> point, does also. point is that oh, there's a big brother, there's an adoption. Yes. It doesn't matter who adopted yes. who. So that's the house we're in, and that's cool. See y'all later. This has been Bedroom Daddy. <laughs>